Hello, mighty friends. Welcome to the Elijah Ministries School of Everlasting Glory. Yeah. That tsunami of peace upon a man's heart and upon a man's mind. Almighty Father, let each of us be strengthened each day by your word that it would pierce our hearts and slay the darkness that creeps in. Yea, the beast within us let us resist him and slay him with the word everlasting that this day, even for a thousand years, would be with our Father and the sons of everlasting glory upon the earth. So, mighty friends, we are going to continue our efforts. So we receive the word from Psalms. For well, some of you apparently are in need of deliverance. We all, we have to slay that beast within us upon rising each day, mighty friends. Oh, the legion is built within, and all that comes out of your heart is darkness. So we are in Psalms this day. A prayer for deliverance, Psalm 43. Oh, vindicate me, mighty Father Yahovah, and plead my case against an ungodly nation. Deliver us from the deceitful and unjust man. For you are mighty Yehovah, God of my strength. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead us. Let them bring us to your holy hill and to your dwelling places, mighty Father. Then we will go to the altar of our God, to God our exceeding joy, and upon the lyre, yea, we will praise you, O mighty Yehovah, my God. Why are you in despair, O oh, our soul? And why are you disturbed within us? Hope in mighty Yahovah's everlasting glory, the Son, Yahshua. Yea, hope in Him for we shall again praise him. The help of my countenance and mighty Yehovah's everlasting glory, Yahshua. So, the liar. Apparently there's something going on there. Hmm. I wonder how many strings a liar has. Isn't it interesting that a liar, the very thing that the beloved David used, on all the 
spirits that were bothering Saul. Hmm. You think deliverance needs a little lion? Or a roar? Hmm? Let's see what we have here. Oh, oh, my friends. Oh, it feels like a rock and roller. Oh, a mystery. Let us not be liars, but let us be revelators of the truth and be everlasting in the glory. friends do you have your heart has your heart been prepared for your heart almighty father prepare our hearts for the heart oh train our hands and fingers yeah, to wage the spiritual war upon all darkness with its frequency. Yea, that evil would tremble at the very sound of our voice. Get some uh, 432 and some 528 tuning with some 444. Yeah, can you dig that? I knew that you could. Well, it's really just a little deliverance ministry. Yeah, the one you love. If you sing love from your heart upon those that you love ye whether they hear it or not the devil ye and all the wickedness within them has to flee and then and then the work must be done to guard the gate ye the slave darkness that tries to enter in each morning upon rising we kneel upon and humble ourselves before our father and say the the Lord's prayer She was prayer the way he, the everlasting glory upon the earth, intended it to be. Yeah, that the name of the Father, yeah, would be sanctified by the Son upon the earth. With each step and each breath he takes. that the kingdom of heaven would be blessed 
that the will of our Father, mighty Yahovah, would be done in heaven, inside our hearts, and then upon the earth, in the hearts and minds of men. Yea, the mystery of God unfolded before their blind eyes that the word we speak could test their hearts yea, and judge them everlasting upon the earth. That we would be hated for the word that we speak, but the word is true. The word is everlasting. It is the everlasting glory of Mary Yehovah Yea, the one true God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yea, the Father and the Son, the Father and the Son. Each one of you fathers knows the love you have in your heart for your son. And each one of you grandfathers and the greatest of grandfathers know the love you have for that grandson in this world what are you going to do to make sure that grandson or the greatest of all the grandsons walks everlasting with the word of truth in his heart and the manifestation of the kingdom of heaven before his heart and mind upon the earth it's up to you, the father of the house, to anoint the children on the Sabbath day and speak words of life unto all the family. Yea, words of Torah, words of Zadokah. Yea, mighty father, teach us your way and train our fingers for war. Hallelujah, mighty Father. A Psalm 144 upon our hearts. Yea, and upon our everlasting minds. Now and forever, always remember, you too can walk radiant and magnificent in mighty Yahovah's garden. Yea, a son of the right hand upon the earth with the gentle breeze upon your lips. Yea, let the sweet honey and the dew in the morning would be the tender morsel of revelation in the word of everlasting. little mustard seed. Yea, let the cloud come forth and rain everlasting upon it. There's more to the story. Are you ready? Hmm? Really? Let's see. Let's see where the mighty father has taken the sword of everlasting glory. Let's open heaven into the palm of your hands and turn to Psalm 139, mighty friend. God's on omnipresence and omniscience. This is for the choir director, a psalm for the beloved David. Oh, 
Yahshua. You have searched me and known me. You know when we, yea, when the eye sit down and when the eye rise up. You alone understand our thoughts from afar. Hallelujah, Jehovah. And the everlasting glory upon the earth, his son, hallelujah, Hoshua. Yea, the Father's work upon the earth. You scrutinize our path and our lying down and are intimately acquainted with all our ways. Yea, mighty Father, even before there is a word on our tongue, behold, O mighty Yahshua, you know it all. Hallelujah. You have enclosed us behind and before and laid your hand upon us. Such knowledge is too wonderful for us. It is too high. I cannot attain to it. Where can we go from your spirit? Or where can we flee from your presence? If we ascend to heaven, you are there. If we make our bed in Sheol, behold, you are there. If we take the wings of the dawn, if we dwell in the remotest part of the sea, even there your hand will lead us and your right hand will lay hold of us. And we will say, surely the darkness will overwhelm us and the light around us will be night. Even the darkness is not dark to you, and the night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light are alike to you, mighty Father. For you formed our inner parts. You wove each of us in our mother's womb. We will give thanks to you, mighty Father, for we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and our soul knows it very well. Our frame was not hidden from you. When was what was made secret, when we were made in secret and skillfully wrought in the depths of the earth. Hmm? Your eyes, your eyes, the we, of the us of the everlasting glory upon the earth. Your eyes have seen our unformed substance, and in your book were all written the days that were ordained for each of us, when as yet there was not one of them, not one. How precious also are your thoughts to us, O mighty Ahovah, yea, and the sun, mm, glistening reflections of the Father, yea, the mighty sun. How vast is the sum of them. 
If we should count them, they would outnumber the sand. When we awake, we are still with you, mighty Father. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, oh, mighty Father. Depart from us, therefore, men of bloodshed. For they speak against you wickedly. And your enemies take your name in vain. Do we not hate those who hate you, Almighty Yahshua? And do we not loathe those who rise up against you? We hate them with the utmost hatred. They have become our enemies. Search me, O mighty Yahshua, and know our hearts. Try us and know our anxious thoughts, and see ye salt upon your lips, and honey drips from your everlasting moments. And see if there be any hurtful way in us and lead us in the everlasting way yeah, of everlasting glory upon the world, upon the earth. Yeah. Lead us in everlasting glory the way the truth live the life of everlasting upon the earth ye walk with us and our father a thousand years learning and teaching ye just this one day until tomorrow Mighty friends, let the living word be in your heart and be in your mind forever. Yea, and be as honey upon your lips as the able seaman goes into each willing vessel.